Right. I'm going to start tying the Gladeswood shrimp. Bring your thread on. I like to put me a uh, silver rib on. Oh, French oval rib. Uni French. It's a silver and it's a small in size. I like to put it on straight away when you're doing the full length of the body. Just past the points. Okay. These have got a good gap at the back so you can come in between the two hooks and pull your secure your tag a lot sooner than you can on other Scandinavian type hooks actually. So they do have their uses different hooks like I didn't mess about here like so just keep pulling forwards keeps the keeps the ribs straight underneath like uh don't want to pat on it so going right back up to the tag so you know it's right firm down to the base It'll look a lot neater when you pull it through uh, I've got a bit of bucktail here in the stacker, a bit of black. Have a look at it, see if they are sitting nice, which they are. Size it up on the hook, one, two. I like a longer tail than most. Get the hair centered, twisted up either side so it sits nice under the Red. Tail looks lovely there. Give it a bit hokey pokey all the way along, yeah. Once I've got a bit on, I'm left handed like so I've got to use the right handed scissors. I might see if I can get some left handed scissors like but I'm used to doing it this way now. Cut them on an angle. Helps you build your uh, your wing in. Right, chopping. When I'm coming back, doing. Oh, that's a one missed there. Couple missed. Ah, wouldn't worry about it. That'll there. Uh, that'll tie back in on the way of doing that. Like a few popped up there. Look, a few bits of. We'll sort that at the end. Anyway, halfway done. I like to secure my uh, tinsel. This is a micro, I think this is a uh, micro flash from Vineyards. Lovely, fine stuff. Got lovely movement in the water. When I'm coming down, I let it twist my hook and have a look on the top so I see if it's sitting like dead centre on top of the bucktail, you know. Doesn't go in too tight in the back end. You want things popping up, flying all over the shop. Come forward a couple of turns for to put the holographic tinsel body in because you'll find it's quite fat. I use the large tie it on the side, full length of the body. Put a couple of turns in. If you see if you put a couple of turns in, then you pull the tr the rib down, gets a fold on it. See? The back side of this has got to be level with the uh, level with your tag. So I'll show you in a minute. If you haven't gone forward a few turns when you're tying your tinsel in, you will have bother turning it back around the tag when you first start off. Like we had to anyway. So that's a way of fun that's good to do it. Um, so pull it down now. You'll see it'll start level up with the tag. Which it is lovely. Nice straight turn over the top. I think the tag's covered. I use red thread all the way through on this fly because it's the colour I finish the head off with. And if you turn your tinsel properly at the back on the tag, uh, you didn't get any of the thread shown anywhere underneath. If you if you turn it that way, the way I've just the way I've just done it. 
over there with that. Keep it nice and tight. A couple of times. Don't worry about this, like. You'll get the tie out of that one. A couple of thread turns forward. Then get your rib. I like to come over the top. Top of the tail. Keeps the tail down, secures the whole fly. I like to get a good few turns on the on the rib like on the way of doing the fly because I think it looks nice. So four or five. Bit of a slight angle forward on them. If you want them going in straight, it doesn't look as nice. Not make any difference like. Just put them in your taste. Turns. A bit waxy for the hair wing gun then. See that? Ah, yeah, bugger. Come on, he's still on the hook. Ah, that'll be alright, that like. You get the old wiry hair that doesn't sit right, like. It'll be fine. The wax keeps coming off. That's no good. Anyway, Arctic runner. You can waste a lot of this like because you do pull it off so you're better off just getting the mold that you think you're gonna use. Um get off, get the guard hairs off. And then look at it and get a good bit of a profile on it. You might want to take a couple of the short hairs off the top off. So a grade in probably. There's a couple there, that'd be spot on that. Off we're done. Just coming past the bends of the hooks and running out the tail a little bit. Not too long on these because I find twisted in so it grinds up onto the top. Don't let your hairs get pulled run when you're torn your the thread on. Loose nip, second one, tighten it up. Yeah, I'll pull through and lovely that. Um, I find when you've got your, your wing tied in a bit longer, too long, it'll tangle. With these softer fibres, um, go around your hook and um, will tangle. So I didn't like to go too far back on my wings. Like, right, it's sitting up proud there at the minute. I'll put these two bits of um, tinsel in. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll put a drop of super glue on that first because it normally do. Touch of glue, tiniest bit. Come back to and then yeah, make a little flash in again, pull it back on itself, and wind back up. Make sure the right length that's too long. So it's that. Update. Right, that super glue will set now, so what you do is push your wing down, a bit damp on your finger, not wet, but make sure it's damp so you get a bit grip on the fern. Pull it back. That will lower your wing nicely, that. And now I like to sort of get a bit damp on the wing to see where it's going to sit. Now it's looking charming. Wax on the thread. Pick a nice feather off. This is a size 10 partridge period, so ooh, that'll do. Clean the feather off. I like to get rid of the stuff below what I'm not going to use, just keeps it easier for me. Pull the hackles back. Have a look, see if that's the right size feather you want to be putting it on the way you're going to be weighing it on. Depends where you want the hackles finishing, but just past the point, scan into the barbs on the hook. I think it's a good good finish on a nice summer fly for a bit of movement. You're going to get movement on this whole fly from the hackles, because I like the soft hand for the movement. All the way through the wing, all the way into the bucktail. Two turns is enough from one half front. Fold your tip back. One, two, Three coming back down. Pull your tip out. Snip it off with the fine scissors. I've bothered with my hackles. I'm sure what I'll do. 
twisted. As you turn and pull the fibers back, let it go. Ah, we are keeping the hackles the right way. The fibers pulled back when you're turning over the bend. Push round, pull it under. Pull back, that's all day. Lift your thread up over the top, 90 degrees. Keep it tight, don't let it slip off. Straight hour, give it a bit of a nip up. See what we're looking at. Down in, tidy it off there. The odd one or two that you didn't like the look of, some people wind them in. I pull them off like. Looks alright that. Now what? Jungle cock in. Actually, I may have a couple of jungle cocks doing here that'll fit. I pulled them off before for a fly. And they didn't look too good. I just put them in single eye. You can put them in double. It's just as easy. Like. A couple of fibers there, not going to I'll pull them off at the end. Me, me jungle cock. Ah, I like me jungle cock gun. Maybe half, three quarters into the uh, length of the hackle. What do you see? That one's twisted like shit, that one. Do you know what it is? I'm going to take that one off. And I'm going to swap them so you can see better. On that side, put a decent one on there. Maybe that's just sitting a touch low. Aye, that's better. I'll talk about it within a minute. That'll do. Couple of turns doing, but you'll find if you haven't got much wax on your thread, it will slip. But I wouldn't worry about that because what you want to be doing is getting your finger near and folding these. Fibers back on the jungle cock, nice and sharp fold, so you've got a good, good clean turn at the bottom, so it's not like a lumpy bump that's going to pull your thread down. And give them a good pull back with your fingers and thumb. I didn't turn right at the very bottom because the wheel pop off. I come up a couple of turns normally. Put a good base of wax on, then you can go back down if you want to. It's not essential, like. You'll hardly notice it. Um, and there you are, that's that covered anyway. But if you're winding back up, didn't wind on too tight. You've got plenty of wax on. You know, you didn't want to pull it all down too tight and your heel all slip and end up falling to bits, you know, it'll make a right mess. I'm not one for putting massive heat on and spend a lot of time wrapping thread and wrapping thread, like that's enough for me that like. And I'll put the whip finish in. I like the whip finish main. Let's just slip down there. In the middle of the head. Two or three. Four turns. And then come one to the back slightly. So it's still building the hair up like while you're whip finishing off. Torn it up so you're doing these rotary vices are fantastic. Put my tine on the end. And you've got the jungle cock eyes, you can cut them off. If you want to, the stalks, I've done them before when I've left them on the flies because I haven't foot, haven't uh, remembered to cut them off and I still haven't noticed like when I've been fishing them. Fish aren't going to notice are they? Um, still sitting a bit funny that. Uh, anyway, I'll push forward on the jungle cut eyes to settle them in a bit. A bit nip on. Bucktails. One there. Yeah, I think that's it. 
Not a bad fly that actually. He's sitting canny. And then our R D is super glue. I use um, Loctite super glue. I've cut the brush in half, and then I've cut it. I've cut it at an angle, and I've cut half the fibers out. So it's a very fine point. I try and keep my hand based on the vise, and then anchor it to my other hand with my fingertips so it's nice and steady. When I'm going round, keep it steady like that. Hard my breath now. But that's that. Done. That's the Gladeswood Shrimp uh, on a size 10 Partridge Patriot and uh, sh Charitus, I don't know how you say it, the sort of fluorescent greeny yellow finish. Nice holographic body, that'll do the business that like. Um, I don't know if you can say that or not. Um, but I, lovely fly. Cheers.